Okay. step on all of the cords down here. Great. Alright. <clears throat> Seventh Guest VR. Part 5. 5 hours 13 minutes into this one. Uh, still enjoying this. I think we're getting pretty close to the end now. Which for 5 hours in, like... It, if everything keeps going on the pace that it's currently at, this will be like a five and a half or six and a half, seven hour puzzle game, which uh, that's, that's a little bit on the short side. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, so welcome. Well, that, that's what VODs are for, you know. All right. Let me get everything launched here. Okay. So, nice thing about Quest and Quest 3 stuff is that I don't have to take my headset on and off to, uh, to do any stream, stream business. Very nice. Okay. This, that... Okay. Is this not, uh... I don't think this is actually capturing. Whoops. Hey, boys. Yeah, my, my easy cap. Uh, I think I gotta hit a button here. Will that work? I think it's because I didn't... Oh, shit. Uh... Okay. I forgot to... To switch over my video cable here. This. And then this. Alright. Hopefully that didn't... That didn't break anything too badly. Uh... Dang it. Okay, this. Okay, I hear it now. Okay, now I just gotta move over. Move over the video feed. Uh. That. Ah, oh, shit. VR streaming, always a pleasure. Okay. I, I think we're good now. Okay. Good. Things didn't break too badly. Okay. We in there now. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Yeah, congrats on, on beating, beating Rebirth Poiks. I'm actually really impressed how how you did on some of those bosses. You did much better than I did, and much better than a lot of people did on some of those bosses. Okay. So, we have made it up to the attic of the of the mansion here. Um the kind of revelation last time in the game was Stauf, the the weird toy maker who owns this building, um, has been 
abducting people, I guess, and stealing their souls and putting them into dolls, I guess, is is kind of the the gist of what I got last time. Um, so now we're up in the attic, which is next to nearby the ritual room. <laughs> so there's the crawl space, the ritual room, chapel, and staff's bedroom, of course, in the attic. Spirit. Um, so we've come across this. This is, this looks like hints for a puzzle of some sort. And it looks like there's, there's some dolls here or figurines. So I recognize these three. These are three of the guests. And then that's the kid, the seventh guest. Um, but this I can't interact with and I can't open it. So there's probably something to do to do with that. Um, we saw a cutscene here. Oh, professor! Um, this is locked, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so I can't, can't get into there. So there is a little statuette in there. Um, this thing, I'm pretty sure I, I repaired this. Because last time I came here, this was burnt out and I'd used the lantern to put that back together. And I can turn off the power as well. I don't know why, but sure. Um. Oh geez, so we got a big old, big old house here. All right, let's see what this lore is. Then the strange sickness came and children started dying. Dying, clutching their stealth toys close. Cemeteries, far and wide, began filling up with small coffins. When the rumors started spreading, the fingers pointed at the toy maker. All right. I did, I did grab all of that. Tiny Tom, Big Lara, Miss Petunia, Baby Kim, Night in the Maiden. Oh, these are all the the games from previous rooms. All the puzzles from previous rooms. Marble game, that one's new. Small stove, auto aerial ladder. All right, 1928 toy catalog, huh? Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, what we got here? These must be Stav's designs. Okay. Sure. Ow, man. I had to contort my wrist there. Oh, God. Ouch. So far, I've avoided injuring myself further while playing VR, but... Ow. That, uh... That did not feel good on my fucked up wrist. <sighs> okay. So this is probably the reason for getting the wiring working. So I see that there's a, a red wire that goes over here. And along here. To... Behind and underneath this. Through here. Along there. And along here. And then up to this. Okay. It's a colon. Okay, so we got another... Another doll thing in there. I'm assuming... Man, the, the frame rate is getting real bad over there. Jeez. <laughs> oh, okay. So even though I had the... Boy. 
to, this is the ritual room. All right, we got the. It's a figurine of one of the guests. But where are the others? I don't. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this figurine. I guess I'll put this over here for now. <laughs> that gonna disappear and respawn. All right. Well. Okay. All right. So this is this is the ritual room, huh? fully expecting there to be a spooky ghost behind me. Professor! I can't interact or move those. Okay. Well, the point of this room is just for that figurine, I guess. Um, so if I press this button again, it doesn't do anything. Can I close the door? That doesn't let me interact with this door. Strange. Okay. Alright, so the other figurines, we got four in here. We found one over there. There's one over here. Um, so I guess now it's figuring out what the deal with this all is. So there was, over here, at the top, there's turning, turning this lever counterclockwise. And then that does something with, oh, that's the basement. Okay, so maybe... Okay, so this is this is a, a model of the house that I'm in. This is the house that I'm in. So, the... The entirety of this puzzle, it looks like, is trying to... Um... Open the basement, it looks like. Uh... So this is... Unlatched. It's model of the house. Ah, is this where you planned out all your twisted little games, stuff? So there's a... There's a thing in there, but I can't get to it. Okay, that's just a light. Never mind. Okay. Can I interact with this latch? I can't. Okay. We'll, we'll leave that there for now. Oh boy. Oh, this, okay, this is how we can. All right. So that opened up the basement. Boy, I'm here to help. Come with me to safety. I said, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Well then. All right. Okay. So I thought this would be a bit more of a puzzle, but it's more just like, hey, open these doors. Hamlet. 
his temple, a life devoted to pretense, but yearning for real magic, oh. real power. Oh, okay. So I think I need to put the put the figurines in the rooms where they died. Um, so this guy, the fancy Brian Dutton. Brian Dutton. This guy got stabbed. No remorse. Um, he got stabbed in the music room, which was first floor. So that's the main entryway. So the music room was on the other side. Um. Put you there, sir. Um. So I gotta figure out where the... So this... So the other, the other guy, the, the statuettes over there goes here. Cause this is, this is where I currently am. Um, and then the music room, it's gotta be this. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's, that's where that guy died. So I don't know where magic man died. Where Temple died. But I've only I've only witnessed two murders so far. Um, okay, so I think I've done all that I can do here. Um, so now that I've unlocked the basements, I guess we're going down to the basements. Cause there's there's still the the clock. Oh, Professor. There's still this clock, and there's three figurines in there, but getting that open doesn't do much for me right now, because I don't know where any of them died, or y if they died. Um, I know that there is this door over here, and there's another figurine in there. Um, oh, this probably opens the door. Ah ha ha ha! Okay. Figured it out. Edward Knox. I never was. Elegant and selfish. And out of luck. Okay, so this guy. This is the guy we just witnessed getting killed in the last cutscene. And that was up here. Okay. So there's no sort of um if I close this. Turn off the light, maybe? No? Okay. Alright, well I'm I'm pretty sure that's that's that. Okay, so now down to the basement. Oh, okay, so there's two. Okay, just to just to confirm here then. Okay, so that did that. But if I just put him over here. Or how about... How about, like, here? Okay, so that still didn't light up. How about up here? No. Okay. So I think that that probably confirms. And it, it does also make a noise when I do that. Okay. So I think I'm I'm on the right track with that then. Okay. All right, down to the basement then. Where I'm sure nothing spooky will be, God. Please, door.
okay. So somebody died over here. But I don't know... I don't know who. heard this going down. Okay, yep, that's down, so now we are good to go down here. <laughs> oh boy, okay, I see another red electrical cable. Hello, boy. Are you down here? Alright, looks like we got a puzzle over there. I saw a hint coin. There it is. Professor! Alright, we got a puzzle here. We got... That's a piece of a puzzle, it looks like. This probably... Okay, so it looks like we're we're looking for multiples of those. Another spooky spider. Uh Okay. Yeah, the spooters in this game are super loud for some reason. Okay, so it looks like I can turn off the power for some reason. Stauf was forced to close up his shop and withdrew from public life. But he had one more surprise left in store. Murder. The voices had spoken one last time of a great house that the toy maker was to build. A strange house. A house that scared people. It sat there, waiting, with a sinister purpose that no one could fathom. For years, nothing was heard, and Old Man Stauf became a bedtime story to scare wicked children. The story of a man who made a deal with the devil. Crazy, sick, and mean. Alright. Standard woodworking tools here. Any other seven, 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 seven. What is this? A TTS? So we're still missing one more. One more of these. needs to be on before this can be opened. Okay. Thanks, ghost. <laughs> God. Backseating ghosts. Alright. It looks like there's room for another cable to go right here. So I probably just had to make make that pattern. Uh that's uh, like that. This
That looks pretty correct. And then we just don't know what the... The one in the, the upper left is. Which you could probably brute force, but... It's probably making a snake. Uh... Like that? That's- that's a snake. There we go. Snack accomplished. All right. So we got two. Sure. Two and three. Okay. I don't know if I'm missing... But we got one, two, two, three... So I don't know if I'm missing two more... two more of these, or if this puzzle's intended to be solved with four, four or less. Here's the... Alright. <laughs> I guess I brute forced this puzzle, but... There's... There's the snack. Alright. Um... I don't see... Any more of those wooden... Wooden things. I'm assuming these can't be interacted with. No. Okay. So this... That's seven. So that's seven. And then we got the... The runaway TT... Oh, there's another one over there. The runaway TTS of seven. Seven, 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 seven over there we got this one a three. Oh, and then one here okay so there is there is six of them this looks disturbing what could it mean so it looks like this is this is another magic square type deal where um like this this and one needs to add up to seven so if we swap these two so three plus one is four plus two is six so we'll put that there okay so this this one is seven um But I'm not I'm not sure I get the logic for this one. Like what what is adding up to 7 here? Like based off of the lines that are on this so it'd be like this to one. So three, four, six, and then we want this to be a one. So this is this is seven across that line then. And then three, four, five, 
And we need a two. Uh, is this... What is that? That's a two. Okay. So this... This works, and this works. Um... So... Th three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Okay. I figured it out. <laughs> so, you live to play another day. <sighs> Got it. Oh no. That poor boy. Stuff must be stopped. Alright, jump scare behind the curtain. died here. Her? The little lamb. <gasps> By yourself. What are you doing here? We have to help the warrior. Everything's... Who's we? You and that has-been magician. <laughs> You're such a pushover. And so is your husband. One look, and he was mama mama. <laughs> little mix! <gasps> Oops. Okay, so she died in the basement workshop. Alright. Perhaps this is the secret to Stout's Poe. Solve the workroom. Alright, so you've unlocked a new... new area. We did that. Did all that. Uh, so the bathroom. The bathroom is now available on the second floor. And that's where I'm going next, apparently. Okay. Alright. This may or may not be a hint for later puzzles. Professor! Um, but I'll just, I'll remember that this is down here, I guess. Can we open this? Nope. Alright. Sure. Okay. Alright, up to the second floor now. It feels like the... So I remember the the description for this on the Steam store implied that the puzzles for this... I'll wrap that toy maker around my pinky finger before the night is over. Sure. Uh, implied that the puzzles for this get progressively more and more difficult as you go through the game. Um, so Hi life, here I come. And no one will get in my way. Yes, yes. And so far, the, I don't think that's been the case. I think the, the puzzles have been pretty consistent in, in difficulty. That's this one, this, this stupid puzzle. <laughs> because I think, I think I had this right, except I had the two and the four switched. Um... Oh no, I had the- I had the nine down here. I had the nines in these corners. And that- that's what screwed up everything. Math. Math. Hate it. Not for me. Nope. Oh. Professor! I know, right? Thankfully, Leighton... Leighton didn't overuse them. Uh oh this painting is big mad now. <gasps> oh, 
My, 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 Miss Martine. The things I've seen. You and your Come little down. lackey. Out of my way, why not? Sober as an ice cream soda on New Year's Eve. What are you hiding? What's that supposed to be? I said move. <gasps> oh shit. <laughs> Brought a knife to a gunfight. Get her ass. Oh shit. <laughs> Ta -ta. You crazy lady. I'd rather be an old hag than a dead whore. Oh shit. Got her. You now, shot her and then burned her. To find the boy. All right. So we got three photos intact now. <gasps> okay, so it should be this. <gasps> Auntie Julia's got a little treat for you. Oh my god. Come on, doors. You can do it. Alright, two spoopy spiders. Oh boy. This bathroom's seen better, better days. Lots of spooters in here. Seven... What the hell is this? Okay. Okay. That's probably for that. Uh huh? This is looking like a truck stop bathroom in here. So the purpose of that maybe it's to keep the spooters away from the spooters have something to do with this the puzzles in this room. Professor There's another key inside there. Okay. Oh boy. I, I hate that, like, you can't get very close to things in this. Yeah. Okay. Professor? of tubes All right, let's let's press buttons and see what happens. Okay. So it won't let me interact with this anymore. That 
So it looks like I need to guide the roach along along the walls here and get him to avoid the spiders, probably. So like, it's gonna come out of here, go onto the table, go up this, and then follow along the wall here. And then I need to close off this. And I gotta bring it over there. It's kind of interesting puzzle. No, the spooter is gonna get you. Stupid spider. Stupid spider. Uh. And there's another one. Okay, so it comes out of there. Goes over there. Okay. Yeah. And then into the Roach Motel? Ah. Tax one. Okay. I don't know why Tad Gorman is saying anything, but sure. Okay, so maybe I gotta tap on the wall. So my controller is rumbling if I put my hand over there. So I'm not sure why. But both controllers rumble when I put my hands over those. <sighs> okay. But how can I get the... The other... Other roaches to spawn. So the other two are going to come from this direction. But... Maybe it's from the bathtub that they spawn? Bathtub or the toilet? The tub's clogged, but I can't... <laughs> I can't easily get closer. Like, I don't... I don't know where the drain is. Usually the drain's, like, right here. Okay, sure. So these ye olde ones have a... Have that as the the drain mechanism. Okay. All right. Come on, Peepo. You could do it. Where you going, buddy? Okay. So up over there. Around here. Stupid spider. Oh, okay. So that's a spider... spider spawn, so I have to... Great. Fantastic. Okay. I don't like this mechanic at all. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Alright. Come on, buddy. You could do it.
Okay. And we want to go right. Uh-huh. That's right there. Okay. Yeah, cover up with this. And this. Okay, I need to not step on it. Please go right. Please go right, buddy. All right, good. Okay. Come and join your friend. All right. So, last one might be the toilet. Toilet or the sink? No, where are you going? Oh no! You stupid cockroach. <laughs> uh. Okay, so I have to lure those. Lure those down. Okay. All right, Peepo. I got you, buddy. Hey. All right. That should do it. This was a clever puzzle. I like this. Yes. All of them are trapped. Okay. So now what? We execute execute the roaches. <laughs> Don't think you'll be so lucky All right. next time. Boy, are you here? Oh no, I need to hide. Boy, are you here? You're in terrible danger. You must come with me right now. What is your name? It's Ted. Yes, Tad. My name is Hamilton. Give me your hand. Oh, shit! Oh, there you are. Oh, nice and clean. It's time to meet Mr. Stuff. Man, she's just... She's just dumping. Trust him, don't trust him. Okay, so we, we know where three more murders happen since I was last in the attic. Time to go. <laughs> Time to meet Mr. Stauff. <laughs> okay, so before I forget... Okay, so Stauff's bedroom... I have access to now, but how? How? I'm not sure. So, so I. Oh! Oh, oh. Mr. Stout! Oh! Okay. Alright, so where's Hamilton? Shit, I put. Uh, I put it right there. Okay. This is annoying. Brian Dutton. All business, no remorse. Out for glory and no one to watch his back. Oh, fuck, I gotta I gotta remember where all these were now. This is this is annoying. Um, so it's not that. 
So he was he was stabbed in the music room. Which is not there. So that's where uh the other guy died. And this is the no. That's where the lady with the hat died. Okay, music room. This guy. I don't know why this reset everything. <laughs> kind of annoying. Edward Knox. I never was. Arrogant and selfish. And out of luck. So he was killed here. Yeah. And then I completely forgot where where Hamilton's figurine was. Uh I don't remember it being in here. God, this is so annoying at the puzzle reset. Because it feels like this this probably goes to the the church. Um, so I know where she died and she died. Martine Burden, manipulative Martine. Why cultivate skills when you have the looks? Eleanor mm -hmm. Knox. Weak-willed and always afraid, but with a dormant power. Okay, so two more. So this I could probably just brute force. Um. So I know the magician guy got killed in the bathroom. Oh. Well, that one's... Okay. That one's already filled in. Um. Julia Heine. Always looking back and growing more bitter by the minute. Tad Gorman. A pure soul. The one who will let us in. But Julia probably died here. Yeah. Okay, and then that just leaves Tad. So are the are there any spots left? I don't I don't even see any that are that are left. That goes up to there. these because it looks like these these latch somehow Maybe something happens when I when I close all of them. Uh. I 
feels like I'm just missing something. Oh! There's an altar in the middle. Ah, haha. Rotten luck! Rotten luck. Okay, there we go. I just didn't notice it because I was crouching still. <laughs> okay. Well, this is not ominous. Ghost over there. Skull on the table. Tengu mask. All right. All standard round stuff. Round and round in circles. Every night. And every night you become weaker. Suddenly, Quest for Glory 4. We have Swan, Snake. Another puzzle? Oh, I don't have time for this. Oh, this is, this is Resident Evil 4. Uh... Okay. So I need to make that. So there's a <sighs> There's one at the one o'clock position. Or I guess the the tip of one is at the twelve o'clock position. So the tip is at twelve o'clock, nine o'clock. Seven, four, three. Twelve, nine, seven, four, three. Uh. God, this is. This is another one of those puzzles where they don't they don't let you get close enough to whatever you're doing. Um. One there. I'll bring this up just a little bit. So it kind of... It doesn't let you be very precise with these, unfortunately. I don't know if that's on purpose or what the deal is.
Hmm. Okay, so looking at the inner portions of these designs, so this ring and this one, I want them to be opposed. Um, okay, so which one is which here? Okay, so one is the farthest one. God, this, this puzzle really doesn't work well for room scale stuff. Um... So if I put that down like this, hey there, Gucci. and I put this one up like that, okay, so three and four I probably have where they should be, so I think it's just one and two that I need to... Put where they should be. And that's likely up here. And, oh god. <laughs> that that looks pretty correct. That looks pretty correct to me. Uh. Like, this bit here maybe needs to be filled in? And maybe the, the whole thing needs to be turned 180, perhaps. So I think this, uh... Apple... So that, that opens the ritual room. And this is Stauff's bedroom, which I should be able to access right now. But let me see if I can get this door open first. Alright, gotta step back, move over into here. Um, okay. So I think for three and four, I need to spin that. And spin that. But that also, that also doesn't seem right. So the, the, the tip of that needs to be facing up in the center. And it still needs to be a pentagon, which it currently is not. Maybe something like that? Yeah, fuck it. Let's, let's go to the other room and see what's in there first. Assuming I can. All right. This is normal things to keep in your bedroom. Let us in, Tad. You're the key. Open our realm. Open our realm. Even though we have never met, we have 
something very special in common. We are both meant for greater things. And tonight, we will be part of something very special indeed. After tonight, nothing will be the same again. Our final game is about to begin. Your friend. There's the, the stout figurine. Alright. After years of silence, six people from Harley suddenly received an invitation to a party at the Stouth Mansion. Upstanding citizens who never took notice of that once lonely beggar. But now he would have their full attention. Now he would get his wish. Revenge. <gasps> All right. So this is this is proto squid game. They never knew what Stout had planned for them. Too greedy to notice. Alright. I have a feeling there's no actual puzzle in this room. It's just lore. Lore in here. Which is fine. Not every room needs a puzzle. Okay, that might be a puzzle solution, but the the game explicitly stated that all puzzle solutions are in the same room that you found the item in, so So I doubt you have to bring that back to the other room. Professor! Alright. Let's figure out this puzzle here. So I just gotta make that design. And it looks like it is it is kind of flat on the bottom. It's just got to have this point point at the, the top here for the center, and it's got to have the the eye shape. I'm not I'm not sure about the curves in the eye shape, but I think the center dot at least needs to be there. Okay. All right. So let's only mess with one and two here and just try and get this eye shape figured out. That might actually be it. I think that's actually it for that. Okay. probably goes there. Wow, it turns out this puzzle is really easy if you just did it one at a time. <laughs> okay. There. Now I can go in. So, do I have to... Okay, sure. Oh, Mr. Stow! Please, not in there! There's something terrible on the other side! <laughs> Listen, when you get to my age, the other side is all you think about. Get in, you little brat! 
Bring him here. Solve the attic when chapel. When we go through okay. these doors, there's no turning back. Do you have everything you need? Well, that sounds like the end of the game is on the other side of the store. Uh, so progression. Coins, 29 out of 50. 12 out of 12 chronicles. 15 out of 17 completed rooms. Uh, ritual room... What isn't marked as complete? There... So the storage room doesn't have a butterfly in it, but I think that's just because nobody died in there or something. Huh. Well, whatever. Let's do it. Let's beat the video game. We got a purse there. This is... This is where they remove souls and put them into dolls, I guess. All this has happened before. I couldn't confront the toy maker. I panicked and the other children pulled me away to a place outside of time. But even there, time runs out. Okay. It's <gasps> <gasps> a doll of me. Let's fix my doll. We might be able to stop this horrible curse. But then now you're where's that nose? You're gonna be a zombie. Okay, so we got ourselves another sliding. All right, stab the princess. Okay, so I can... Stab them both? Okay. Sure, that makes sense, I guess. All right, got your nose. If that was the last puzzle in the game, then I am very disappointed. <laughs> but I'm very disappointed. Great, my nose is back, but my face still a mess. Can you push all the pieces in? Oh God, okay. Oh, it's one of these puzzles, okay. I know, right? All right. Also, this this is another one of those things where the game is making you move in awkward positions in order to do anything. So I keep getting stuck with an odd number, or an even number left.
Okay, here we go. Got it. All right, fix your face, kid. You're still ugly. Only together can we stop him. And we must stop him now. All right. Mr. Staff, I have your boy. Shall I tell you my wish? Your wish, but of course. I wish to be young again, to know everything that I know now, but without the wrinkles and the backaches. I could just start over. Things would be so different. Has to be your wish. This is perfect. <gasps> perfect. No! This is too much. <gasps> Change me back. Help! <gasps> it's wasted up here. But here you are. Here you are. We've been waiting for you for such a long time. Are you really the toy maker? I was. But with their help, I've become so much more. And so can you. So can you. One final game. No! Let me go! I want to go home! That's not how I run my business. I settle things the old fashioned way. With spooky Winner ghosts. Takes all. Alright. Oh, God. <sighs> it's so cold here. So empty. This is where they live. The whispers, the voices. And they're hungry. They want a new home. Other dimension. Okay. This must be the 16th room. They're children. I can feel them. They're down there, trapped. My controllers are rumbling. Okay. I probably have to go up there, I'm guessing. That pool feels really bad. Be careful. Alright. Butterfly. There's something up there. Let's see. Let's see. I played a video game before, Ghost. There's a spooky skeleton the final up here. Game has not begun yet. We need to start it. All right. That's probably this. This is like something out of uh, doom. Try attaching it to your lantern. All right. What the fuck? <laughs> Welcome to my greatest game. Would you like to know how it's played? Oh, I'm sure you'll figure it out soon enough. Your turn, Professor. Professor? Is this canonically a Professor Layton? So we got three green things, three red ones. That is signifying it's my turn. what this is for. So if I do that. Avoid those voices at all costs. 
Use your lantern to select and guide the souls. You rolled a one. That can sometimes be a good thing. On a one, you can skip a ring if you're on the right symbol. But can I press in on that? No. All right, so all I can do... I don't know if this is RNG or if this is set every time. So those, the spider things must be stouffs. Because I can't, like, select them. Would it help if I said your soul is at stake? Oh, no, it wouldn't. Okay, so I can only control the one in front. This just feels like RNG. Okay, so I can only move the one in front. I don't know what that did. I'm in I'm in some sort of portal. No! Good try. But back you go. <laughs> I know, right? Curses! Aren't they supposed to be on my side? Let me show you how it's done. Let's go this way instead. Your move! Alright, not gonna lie, this kinda sucks. <laughs> so that one I can move four spaces over to... It to here, apparently? What if I select the other one? Okay, I can go there. That one I can't go... That one I can go to there. Okay, so what if I move that one to there? And now, it's your turn. So I think I need to get three of my souls to the center ring before Stauff gets three. Okay, so what does this do? Good, it's protected. Okay, sure. My turn. That soul is ours. Okay, sure. That makes sense. Okay. I hate that I have to press this every time. The blood of the seventh guest. And it, it feels like Stauff is getting way more turns than I'm able to get. I can only go with that. So what does this do then? We get to roll again. Okay. Okay. Uh 
so for this one, one, two, three, four. So I could be able to roll again. Ideally, I want it to be protected. So for this one, I can go to this other protection spot. So we'll go to there. Good. Protected. Okay. No. Bye bye. Back to square one. This one is safe. Okay. Your move. I think I want to get this one in as soon well as possible. Done, Professor. Your move. Two. Okay, let's get this one moving. I, I really wonder if this is if this is RNG, RNG or not. Now it's time. See, it keeps what keeps landing on those. I can go again. And then it's protected. This is this is God. He's so close to winning. We're so close. We're almost here. A shortcut? How convenient. Literally cheating. Is what's going on here. I I fucked up. Oh, it has to land on the, s the spot, okay. And now, it's your turn. My turn. <sighs> so I think I failed this puzzle, but... I don't yes. think there's an easy way to reset that this. Little one belongs to us now. So as long as he doesn't roll a one. Okay, then we're good. Maybe it's best you give up now. You can't possibly win this. Your turn, Professor. Oh, fuck. You can't stop us. Not anymore. Bro. <laughs> Tough luck. And now, it's your turn. That. That's some bullshit. We get another turn. Good. It's protected. Luck. Of course. Alright, so it looks like if I save some time here. I don't know if I can use these shortcuts or if just stealth can.
Let me show you how it's done. Your move. Okay. So I think I think I've got this pretty much figured out. So if I if I land on this purple space there, it summons the void thing um, to the center spot. Um. So I'm I'm curious if I can on my next turn use the Your turn, Professor. Use the shortcut on this one. So why can't I use the shortcut? Uh, God. Yeah, Gucci. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. It is very similar. It's protected. That one should be safe. For now. Winner takes all. Yep. So this this is pretty much a foregone conclusion. Since I didn't understand the rules of the game. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so then it, it all just resets. Okay. You better learn quickly. <laughs> Your life depends on it. All right, now I understand how this is played. Um, okay, so they all... That won't help you. Ow. Good try. This is some bullshit. Go. This is some bullshit. Play with us, Tad. We'll have so much fun. My turn. Yep. Not only is this guy like a crazy, crazy murderer, he's also a cheater at board games. <laughs> Even worse. All I can do is move this, and then... God. That is pointless. Your turn, Professor! Because this just... This just feels like complete... Complete RNG. Great! An extra roll! Let's, let's get one of these moving. My turn. A shortcut. How convenient. Why can't I use the shortcut? Like, Your turn, Professor. Maybe you have to roll a one on... Now it's my turn. Huh. There we go. Okay. All right. Get fucked. Oh, supposed to be on my side. Yep, then it got me too. Oh no. Ta -ta. All right. Well. And now it's your turn. That's all fine, I guess. All right. So we get an extra roll over here. We get to roll again. I could have taken out that one, but I think the extra roll. Is probably gonna be better. Alright, so as long as the next roll isn't a one, then we're good. Okay, good.
All right, now I would like to roll a one because then I could maybe use the shortcut. Of course, of course. I can't have nice things. Um. All right, let's let's move over one of these into attack position. Mind if I do. All right, give me a one. It's protected now. The one time I want a one. Now it's your turn. Okay, so this one I can protect. It should be safe from the toy maker there. Let me show you how it's done. Hey. Four. So that'll get us to the extra chance here. We get another turn. Um, so I'm not sure about the interaction here between this one and the one that's quote unquote protected. I guess we'll find out. Let's. Oh, I can't. Okay, it won't let me move over there. Okay. Well, that that clears that up then. So I could move that one, or I could move another one of these. I think I'll move that there. We will rule again. Your turn, Professor. Professor? Um, so that one, I could move to the extra roll. I think I'll do that. We get another turn. Never pass up another turn. So we're protected there. That's good. And if I go here, I'm protected. Okay. That one should be safe. Turn it. It saves some time here. And now it's your turn. I think I want to move. I think I want to move that one. Okay. Protected. There. It's protected now. And now um, it's your turn. Okay, we'll do this one for the extra turn. We get another turn. So can I shortcut here? I can. All right. What? What? Now it's my turn. Okay. Ah, uh, get fucked. Damn. Get fucked, Why idiot. Do they do that? Your turn, Professor. So this one I can protect. Should be safe. For now. Okay. All right, that's fine. Gotcha. You can have that one. Your turn, Professor. So as long as the vortex doesn't spawn right now, then we're good. Then we're good. That should put it out of reach of the toy maker. My turn. Your move. Get fucked. What? Okay. Let me show you how it's done. Ow! Well, <laughs> got me right back. All right, this one. Oh, I can't. Um. All right. We'll take out this one then. Uh, 
I feel like I've got this. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, that's that's fine. Oops, cheer up. There's always next time. Thank you. Great, that's one soul saved. We need to save two more. This one now. Your move. Okay. Oh no, no, fuck. No. Good try. Back you go. How many has he got? Yeah, okay, so he's still only got one. Nothing. Alright. So we got an extra turn here. We get I know, right? <laughs> this is non-stop action. We get to roll again. So I can't move this one. Let's just move that one in there. So as long as I can keep this one alive, then I got this. Let me show you how it's done. Don't get too comfortable. You haven't beaten me yet. And now it's your turn. So if I roll a one, I can shortcut. Down to here, get fucked. What? Okay. Show you how it's done. Oh god. No! <laughs> Oops. Cheer up. Bro. It's always next time. No fucking way. Your move. Oh my god. Seriously? Jesus Christ, man. That's so annoying. Another turn? You don't mind if I do? Let's go this way instead. God. Well done, Professor. Now it's my turn. Your move! Let me show you. <sighs> of course, of course, of course. Professor. All right. Well, just going back over there. I would love to be able to roll a one on my turn. The blood of the seventh. Yep, it's trouble in more ways than one. Good, it's protected. <sighs> Your move. Okay, my nope. All right, let's let's move over one of these into intercept position here. My turn. So, so the score is tied. Alright. 
I'm over one there. Or that's fine, I'm protected. And now it's your turn. Alright, the fact that wasn't part of the deal. We're here. Good. It's protected. The cycle will be broken. Two. Okay. <laughs> All right, please give me a one. Give me a one. Give me a one. Oh, fuck. If I can't, I can only really move this one. I can still get a one on the next turn. Oh man, that was, that was lucky. Give me a one. Fuck. All right. Well, this one, this one's protected at least. That one should be safe. Burn it. I could have moved the other one and waited this for a one. Is safe. Okay. That's protected. Good. It's protected. So I just need a three or better, and then I got this. Another turn. And then it's GG. Three or better. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I think I've beaten the seventh test. You guys. Nothing can touch this one now. <gasps> How can this be? You did it. I remember everything. Now there's only one thing left to do. I gotta go stand in that, I guess. All right. Well, that was. That felt more RNG than puzzle solving. I guess the, the puzzle is figuring out how how it works, I, I guess. turns into a spooky skeleton. Been changed, defeated at last hour. Souls set free, the raging voices turned silent once more. The house remained hungry as ever. As for the toy maker, he seemed to have vanished. But real boogeymen rarely disappear for good. <gasps> Seventh guest of VR. All right. <gasps> Solved it. 
Uh, the sequel is actually called The Eleventh Hour. Um, okay, so we can speed through these these credits here. Special thanks. Meta, Sony Interactive, Epic Game. Control by makers of the original game. Oh, this is Unreal, huh? Interesting. This you can't. Go! I'm not a skeleton anymore. I have hands. Wait, never mind. But they're just hard to see. They brought back the MIDI for the the end of the credits, I guess. Okay, there we go. 99%. Sure. Okay. Alright. Ouch, my, my face hurts. From wearing this headset. Oh god. Okay, there we go. That is Seventh Guest VR. Alright. So how did I feel about this one? Um So things I liked. Uh all of all the puzzles made sense. Which it's it's hard to have a consistent level of quality, I guess, across puzzles, and it, it felt like this this did have a consistent level of quality. Um, the marketing text for it was uh, the the puzzles get harder and harder as you get through the mansion. Um, yeah, the exact the exact text is as you explore the eerie mansion, the puzzles become increasingly challenging, and there are dangers lurking around every corner, every shadow creak and flicker of light, adding to the haunting tension. Um, so I don't think that was necessarily the case. Um, yeah, that, that was a very hard puzzle of just just break the physics system to to finish a puzzle. Sure, um, but I wouldn't say the puzzles got harder necessarily. Um, but they were all like good puzzles. I I wouldn't say there was any puzzles that were were dumb or bad in this. Um, which shit, even Professor Layton has some dumb puzzles, so, um, I, I'll give this points for, for that. Um, I thought graphically it looked great. Um, it was a little dark, but that's, it's, it's a spooky game. It's going to be dark. Um, music, sound effects, all great, all very atmospheric. I think they did a great job with the, um, turning the original FMV acting into volumetric, stuff for vr like that that's not necessarily stuff that comes across well on stream because it's it's a 2d image that you see on stream but for me in vr it looked really cool um and it's it's super impressive that they were able to pull that off with like minimal artifacting or anything um it, it almost looks like it was natively made for for vr um yeah, integrating the uh, the live action actors into it so it's just really well done on that um Let's see. Uh, and yeah, I think it was a well-paced game. Um, there was almost always, always something to do, a new room to go to. Um, some puzzles, puzzle stuff can kind of devolve, especially late game, into like looking for stuff to do rather than the stuff to do finding you. Um, and it, it felt like this did a great job of of keeping things moving in this and not uh, not getting stagnant. Um, also cool that it had an overarching story to it of like the, the whodunit and, and what happened inside the house, um, uh, more than just like a reason to go from puzzle to puzzle. Like the, the reason ended up being, I want to see what happened in this mansion more so than I just want to see what the next puzzle is, you know? Um, so good on, on that. I believe that's, uh, that was part of the original design to the game. Um... So things that I didn't like. I didn't like the constant ghost backseating that was happening in the game. Like, it, it, it felt like once you got 
some of these puzzles you kind of have to feel out like what is it asking you to do what what do these buttons do as you press them um and it, it takes that experimenting for the first like 30 seconds of the puzzle as like oh this player's an idiot they're pressing buttons willy-nilly let's give them a a gentle nudge in the right direction and it, it feels like that happens too early and too often um so that that ended up being more annoying than anything uh the puzzle hint system i didn't really interact with that much but the one time i did interact with it i was not impressed with it because it was for the magic square puzzle and the first hint was like blindingly obvious and the second hint wasn't helpful at all and the third hint was just solve the puzzle for me <laughs> um so it's like ugh, that not not super helpful for for stuff like that um but really besides that i can't find too much more fault for uh for this one um so the the final timer is is about seven hours for this one which i don't know that that might be a little on the low side but for for an fmv adventure game from 1993 which is the original date for this seven hours is probably about the average length for for like an adventure game adventure puzzle game so i don't know i can't uh i can't fault the length of the game being a little short like that um but like for for modern day standards against like i don't know la milana or something it's it's obviously a lot shorter than that um or or something more appropriate and modern would probably be like outer wilds outer wilds would probably be an example that i'd use and outer wilds is like three times longer than this um but Still, that doesn't mean that I I'm, didn't un enjoy this game because it was so short. I, I like that it was focused, um, and it everything kind of wrapped up together, and it told a complete story in that amount of time. Which, honestly, for a for a VR game, that's kind of ideal because VR, in and of itself, kind of limits your playtime and how many sessions you could do of it. Um, so it, it's honestly probably is for the best. So it's a little bit on the shorter side. Uh, let's see. So, difficulty. For the most part, I didn't think the puzzles were all that crazy in this. Um, for the most part, I could figure them out almost immediately. Uh, some of them had some mechanics that weren't immediately obvious what you had to do. Like, the one that comes to mind is moving the mannequins around on the floor of the room. Um, where you had to shine your spotlight on these symbols on the ground to get the, the mannequin to move. And I was shining on it for like three seconds, and you needed to shine it for like four seconds to get to do anything. So I was kind of trying to figure out how that interaction even worked. Um, and then there's the things like moving the cockroach around in the bathroom. Um, and then like another thing that wasn't so great was the um, trying to get some of the hand grip animations or interactions to work correctly. So like. S the, the one in particular that comes to mind is the knight, that you had to move a mechanical knight around a puzzle thing, and you had to take these little pins and put them in precise spots in order to, to get that puzzle to work. And, like, if two pins are nearby each other and you move your hand clearly over one of them, sometimes it'll grab the one that was next to it. Um, so trying to get that to work properly was was pretty frustrating, especially since that puzzle was a little... A little touchy on what inputs it wanted and then like yeah the the dollhouse thing not being able to uh to figure out how the doll guillotine works <laughs> which you had to if you pick up a doll it puts the doll facing towards you but then in order for the guillotine to work it has to be face down so you have to kind of like go like this to to get the doll to to properly um be in there for that mechanic to work so it, it's stuff like that that i feel like could have could have used a change or something because it's asking asking the player to do to do stuff like this to make things work in your game is uh is not great <laughs> it's not a great time um <sighs> but really how much else so as far as difficulty i would say for me, it probably just about right on the difficulty of the puzzles and the difficulty of the exploration and all that. Um, 
I'm kind of glad the game didn't rely on on jump scares or anything like that for its uh, for being a, I wouldn't even call it a horror game, just like spooky atmosphere. Um, probably for the best in a VR game because you don't want to be completely spooked in VR and fall over and, and crack your head on, on furniture or something, you know? So probably for the best that it's not the relying on jump scares. Um, and then, like, overall, I would probably rate this a, uh, a 5 out of 5, to be honest. Um, I can't speak for the original game because I never played the original, but I pretty much enjoyed this entire game start to finish. Um, like, besides the small complaints I have with some of the, the interactions, everything else really great about this one. Um, I think they did a great job uh, modernizing this game, uh, taking a lot of the, the assets and design from the original 93 release and just making it feel like a modern game, even though it's it's not modern, but it's... They they did a bang up job on this. This this is a legit great game. I was not expecting this game to be to be great, especially as all the things that I've heard over the years about um, the puzzles in Seventh Guest just being ball breakers top to bottom. But it was it was a great game. Really loved it. So there we go. Seventh Guest VR. Kudos to Vertic uh, Vertigo Games. They did a hell of a job on this one, and uh, hopefully they have some more projects coming up. Um, I know that there's a sequel to Seventh Guest called The Eleventh Hour. I don't know if that's in the works to to also make a VR conversion of The Eleventh Hour, or if they're going to be doing a uh, um, some new IP. I don't know, but I'm looking forward to uh, to whatever that team comes out with next. Okay, all right, that'll do it then. My back hurts. We finished Seventh Guest VR. Not sure what or when I will stream next, but. Stay tuned, as always. Uh, I know the VR patch for the rally game, the WRC rally game, is out at the end of the month. But my wrist is still in no condition to be wrestling with the steering wheel right now. Like, I, I tried it. The second I turn, I turn the wheel like this, it's just instant pain on my wrist. So, who knows? <laughs> it, it might still be a while before I, I do any more VR rallying. So, we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, thank you for watching, as always. And I'll see you next time. Whenever that is. Take care.